Toyota's innovative hydrogen-powered Geo Corolla has recently competed during a 24-hour race in Japan as part of the Ineos Super Taiku Series 2023. Its 2023 endurance racing debut came just a couple of months after it missed a 5-hour race at Tsukuza in mid-March. This isn't the first time that the car has competed the 24-hour race as it also ran at the same event back in mid-2021. Toyota chairman and former chief executive Akio Toyota formed part of the team of drivers that raced the car in what the automaker says was a test of the technology. The Geo Corolla used by Toyota is interesting as it features the same basic 1.6 litre turbocharged three-cylinder engine of the consumer versions of the Geo Yaris and Geo Corolla, but rather than gasoline, it is powered by liquid hydrogen, stored in four carbon fiber fuel tanks. While this wasn't the first time the Geo Corolla has raced with a hydrogen fueled combustion engine, the car used in 2021 had a gaseous hydrogen fuel rather than a liquid hydrogen, and most hydrogen powered cars feature the gaseous system rather than this liquid technology. Now this is because of one major challenge that liquid hydrogen brings. You see, it must be kept at temperatures lower than minus 253 degrees Celsius during filling and storage, necessitating the development of new fuel pump technology that can work in such low temperature environments. And specialized fuel pump technology would be essential. Traditional fuel pumps are incapable of handling cryogenic temperatures and maintaining the hydrogen in its liquid form. Consequently, innovative designs are required to handle the challenges associated with extreme low temperature in fuel. Toyota's engineers have developed cutting-edge fuel pump systems capable of operating at cryogenic temperatures, ensuring a continuous supply of liquid hydrogen to power the Geo Corolla's combustion engine. Furthermore, the production of liquid hydrogen itself can be energy intensive. It typically involves cooling and liquefying gaseous hydrogen, requiring significant energy inputs. However, advancements in renewable energy sources and sustainable hydrogen production methods, such as electrolysis, powered by renewable electricity and technology such as red hydrogen, can help mitigate these concerns and contribute to a more environmentally friendly hydrogen fueling ecosystem. So this liquid hydrogen does bring quite a bit of challenges, but Toyota has already started working and developing ways that we can counter said challenges. And even with the challenges, liquid hydrogen does also bring some insane advantages. One significant benefit is its higher energy density. Liquid hydrogen has much higher energy content per unit volume than its gaseous counterpart, allowing for increased range and extended driving capabilities. This improved energy density addresses one of the primary challenges of hydrogen-powered vehicles, enhancing their practicality for long-distance journeys. Now, previous iterations required compressors and pre-coolers to cool the gaseous hydrogen, but these components are no longer needed with liquid hydrogen. This combined with the higher energy density has resulted in a much greater range. The other reports that the Geo Corolla's cruising range has more than doubled and the vehicle can be refueled in just one and a half minutes. So how does it all work? While well, liquid hydrogen combustion in the Geo Corolla follows a similar principle to traditional internal combustion engines, the liquid hydrogen is injected into the engine's combustion chambers where it mixes with ambient air. The spark ignition then triggers the controlled combustion process, converting the stored energy in the liquid hydrogen into mechanical energy that propels the vehicle forward. Now, as Toyota and other automakers continue to refine and innovate within the hydrogen space, advancements in infrastructure, production methods, and fueling technologies will address the current limitations. This progress will pave the way for a future where hydrogen-powered vehicles play a crucial role in achieving a sustainable and zero-emission transportation ecosystem. But which one do you think is the future? Liquid hydrogen, which is more energy-dense but more difficult to keep cool, or hydrogen in its gaseous state, which has to be pressurized, but the technology is already there and has been used in production cars, but unfortunately it does offer a lower range. Keep in mind, both can be refueled in minutes. So let me know down below which one you think is the future and let me know what you think of this new liquid hydrogen race car that Toyota is working on. I'm quite curious to see how it does in the race, how many laps they can do and I really wish they could just give us like more updates like after the race, after the race tell us um, this car did this or whatever because they're quite quiet. But yeah, let me know down below what you think. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you'll most probably like most of my stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?